Nestled in the shadows of the mighty Himalayas, Ladakh holds a rich and fascinating legacy that dates back thousands of years. Being a cold desert that sits at a breathtaking altitude of about 3,500 meters above sea level, Ladakh holds a high stature that is only surmounted by its timeless legacy that is evidenced by its people, their culture and traditions. However, beneath the idyllic legacy of this surreal landscape lies a growing problem. A legacy of a different kind. While the influx of tourism in Leh boosted its revenue generation, it also accelerated the generation of waste in the region. This overwhelmed the local infrastructure, resulting in a gargantuan pile of trash or legacy waste accumulated over the years at a barren stretch of land called Baumgard in the outskirts of Leh. Over the past couple of decades, close to 100,000 tons of legacy waste has accumulated across 82,000 square meters at Baumgard. एक ही जगह था जितना भी गार्बेज था वही जाके म्यूनिसपल कमेटी वहां पे डंप करता था क्योंकि और कोई अलग से हमारा या सॉलिड वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट प्लांट कुछ भी नहीं था तो वहीं पे डंप होता था फिर कभी कभी एक्सीडेंट हो जाता था आग लग जाता था फिर वहां पे स्ट्रे डॉग्स का भी काफी होता है तो शुरू करने के लिए हमें क्वांटिफिकेशन करना जरूरी था तो हमने लेडेक और बोडा से हेल्प उनसे लिया क्वांटिफिकेशन करने के बाद अब हमें टेक्निकल वो चाहिए होता था तो हमने काफी लोगों से डिस्कस किया इसी के हिसाब से फिर हमने आर बनाया इतना बड़ा प्रोजेक्ट का एक्सपीरियंस भी नहीं था हमारा मतलब छोटा सा डिस्ट्रिक्ट हुआ करता था तो फाइनली हमने डीपीआर बनाया तो इसमें काफी टाइम लगा आपको पता है कुछ भी प्रोजेक्ट करने के लिए टाइम तो लगता ही है meant that executing a project of this kind here was way more complicated than in other parts of the country. Winter is very harsh in Ladakh. The temperature goes minus 20 and beyond. That means we have only five to six months during summer where we can carry on any kind of project here in Ladakh. The harsh climate also translates into higher cost of transporting machineries and human resources also. The remediation of legacy waste started on ground in 2022 through a process called biomining. This multi-step process involved the excavation of the waste followed by various stages of segregation based on the size and density of the waste. Three trommels alongside vibro and air density separators were used for this process. We have done some analysis last year in, with the support of the local government and local NGO called Ladakh ecological development group. So what we found was 16% was plastic, 24% was a paper, 10% was a cloth, and three was a metal, and then rest of it was soil and stones. Today, a year after the commencement of the project, Baumgart wears the new look. Close to 100,000 tons of legacy waste has been remediated, and over 20 acres of land has been reclaimed. While the bulk of the recover waste is reused in construction related activities in Baumgart. The challenge is dealing with the unrecyclable plastic waste. Landfilling is not an option in Leh because it is a flood prone area. However, regarding using of the RDF, we have reached out to many places like Himachal and Jammu uh, and other places also, but none of them is financially viable. Hence, controlled and scientifically monitored incineration is the only option to deal with the unrecyclable plastic in Leh. Going forward, the district administration of Leh has put some solid plans in place to ensure that the problem of legacy waste doesn't resurface. Whatever fresh waste is coming in, we are, uh, we are ensuring that it doesn't go to Baumgart again. And everything is segregated. And the segregated waste goes to our material recovery center, where the dry waste is the, again recycled, wherever it can be recycled. And the one that is the RDF that is left will be treated separately. And for reduce and reuse, our three-hour facility that has been set up, and also bed-based management facility. That being said, the citizens are the biggest stakeholders in this whole process of managing waste. So we are conducting a lot of awareness camps and IC activities to make the citizens aware about their responsibilities and we are all partners in this process. Leh is an extreme landscape that is defined by the raw beauty of nature and the inherent resilience of the human spirit. Today, its legacy extends to being a benchmark in tackling one of the biggest challenges faced by the country, reclaiming legacy waste.